Okay, let's get into this topic right here. We all saw the game last night. Ah, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens. And the game didn't come down to this one play, but it did come down to one play. <laughs> like, a game of inches came down to one big toe. My, my pinky toe, my one big toe away from potentially winning the game. Baltimore may have went to, for two. If they go for two, they get two. They win that game. But everybody don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about the play and plays before that could allow, oh, this is so sad, Baltimore to score that touchdown instead of running out of time and not scoring that touchdown. The Aaron throws by Lamar Jackson. Oh, so I hear Bill Polian right now somewhere saying, I told you guys, you should have played running back. <laughs> Two-time MVP, had some flagrant misses during the last seconds of that game. Let's just be real, whatever it is. And I know I love me some Lamar Jackson. I root for four teams that I played for and a fifth that I didn't. And that fifth is the Baltimore Ravens because of Lamar Jackson, right? So I'm all in on Lamar Jackson, but I'm also more in on the truth. And he missed a couple of throws. But Lamar said he didn't miss those throws like we thought he did. So now we're going to go through it. True or false? Did Lamar Jackson miss the throw? Let's go. Let's see these videos. So we got it right here. I can't believe I'm showing this footage. Ain't no way they're going to let this monitor. All right, so look. He steps on the pocket. Why in the hell you got a running back on Jones? Got Chris Jones and the running back? Now right there, you think he throwing it? Ah! I was like, what? That's that smile like. You bigger than me, you better than me, you got all that love, I ain't gonna say nothing. You ever see somebody who smile like this, and they teeth, and they mouth don't move because they doing this? Yeah, you, you, Jack, you sorry, what the fuck, you throwing that ball to fuck, boy, shit. That's all he was saying, he was like, mother sucker. We all saw that live, right? And we're sitting there like, ain't no way. Okay, Chris Jones made, made a move, so he had to step up the pocket, but that was happening every play. Why were they blocking him with the back? God dang. I could come back and play if y'all going to block me with a back. Let's go. So they were letting him get the pressure on him. He kept moving around the pocket, and he missed that throw. I thought it was dead. But I had one of them sleepless nights last night. Last night, went to McDonald's and told him I need everything hot. My homeboy said, if you want McDonald's really good, just tell him make everything hot. And I finally did it. I can't lie. It tasted amazing. And so here's the thing. I'm up late, and I'm scrolling on social media. I look. Lamar Jackson explained it. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Listen to this. No, um, actually, it was, uh, I went scrambling. I seen Chris Jones was on uh, Justice Hill. Justice Hill was blocking Chris Jones. So I was trying to help Justice out, and I tried to get out of the pocket. And I seen Bateman, like, right. flying across. So I'm thinking Bateman going to stop. And as I'm throwing the ball, I see Zay flying across. I'm um, like, Oh, that wasn't intended for uh, uh, Zay Flowers. So, yeah, I was, I was, I was teed off about that because I'm like, if I would have held on to a little bit more, I would have just fired up the Zay for the touchdown. Yeah, like when I threw the ball, I seen him. I'm like, like I want to say something else. But I'm like, damn, like, shit happens. Man. Okay, so now let's see the first video again with that explanation of Lamar Jackson saying. I wasn't trying to throw the flowers going this way. I was trying to throw the Bateman going this way if he would have stopped. Hammer time. Oh, let's see that again. Let's see the first play. So now, first of all, the back, you see the back, he tripping. I mean, it ain't his fault. He ain't supposed to be blocking Chris Jones like that. Come on. At least he kind of wanted it. Right there. Okay, where Bateman at? Because we need to see him. Flowers is going across. We see Bateman right there. Okay, let's go. Let's get it out of here. This is what happened. Um, this is why trust is so important, especially when it comes to a quarterback and receiver, but in all sports, especially when you got them teammates out there, you got to have trust that comes from chemistry, communication, and consistency. If we don't work on this, don't get no high leverage moment and think it's just going to work out. Bateman was double covered. So Lamar thinking, you ain't going to run into the second defender. You're going to stop. Hammer time. 
and I'm going to launch this thing. But what sped that entire process up was the fact that he was under pressure. Chris Jones was coming, so Lamar couldn't sit there, not only physically sit there and fire off, couldn't wait, but he also mentally, he was rushing. He was speeded up. So then in that moment, is that a word, speeded? Um, so in that moment, you see him like, God, he let it go. And then what made it look horrible, what made us all say, damn, Bill Polian might be right, <laughs> is you see flies going right by like, hey, and maybe it wasn't even for you. Interesting. Okay. So the bigger the bigger discussion in this other day, okay, he threw it to the other guy. He threw it wrong to both guys. It was a bad throw. It was a worse throw. But none of them were good throws. Okay, we can say that. But the thing is, I want y'all to understand, you know how many times I played football, NFL level, where I actually didn't do anything wrong, but y'all didn't know it. I got one story in particular. I remember a coach called like a stunt. Y'all know what a stunt is, right? E.T. stunt. E.T. E means end tackle. E is first, so end goes first. Tackle loops around. I'll give you a basic one. I'm stunting inside. He hold, grab, he stunt, and loop around. They, they Coach called a play, and they ran off tackle fast. So think about it. I'm going in. He coming right where I'm at. And the tackle hold, we both here inside. Whew, I forget who it was, but he tilted to the crib. T damn. <sighs> I remember the announcer said, Wiley lost contain. <laughs> Wiley lost contain. Crowd looking at me a little sideways. I don't know what they were saying because I ain't listening. But I could see it. I could feel it. I could feel that heat on my neck. Announcer said, I missed contain all that, blah, blah, blah. You know what happened? Coach, you called a stunt that you shouldn't have called. In that moment, that got us all compromised. Yes, you did. And you're going to tell people. And you know what the craziest thing is? Coach will walk up to you and he'll be like, man, that was a bad call. My bad. Or even Monday meeting, you watch a film. Yeah, I shouldn't have called this right here. This is not good. But still, I need y'all to recover. Because damn it. <laughs> you be like, hey, bro. No. <laughs> what? It happens all the time. We are playing the game, y'all seeing the game, and we ain't seeing the same thing. Just wanted to highlight one of the billion that's going to happen this year. When somebody going to get reprimanded, somebody going to get clowned, someone going to feel the heat, and he like, they don't always correct you either. They don't always say it. It doesn't always come out publicly. Sometimes it's just like, oh, oh, okay. And y'all know in this world, the apology is a lot quieter than the indiscretion, than the crime. So... Just wanted to get that out, clear Lamar Jackson's name, kind of. It was either a bad throw or a worse throw, so I can't really clear it. But true or false? Was that a bad throw? True. It was a bad throw. But don't put the back on the damn <laughs> uh, future Hall of Fame Pro Bowl tackle. Maybe you'll get some time. Maybe you'll make that play.